जय हिंद आय विश्वास मिश्रा रिप्रेजेंटिंग स्वामी विवेकानंद सुभारती यूनिवर्सिटी मेरठ प्रेजेंटिंग अ लेक्चर ऑन आई एस डी एन सेटेलाइट सिस्टम एंड ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज आई एस डी एन आई एस डी एन डेफिनेशन आई एस डी एन सर्विसेस यूजर नेटवर्क इंटरफेस ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू ब्रॉडकास्ट चैनल एप्लीकेशन बेसिक बैंड स्पेक्ट्रम Overview of satellite system, mode of communication, principle and features of satellite communication, satellite communication network, optical fiber, advantage of optical fibers, application of fiber optics in communication, transmission sequence, principle of operation theory, theory and principle of fiber optics, propagation of light through fiber in fiber geometry. First ISDN introduction what is ISDN integrated services digital network is a set of communication standard for sim- simultaneously digital transmission of voice video data and other network services over the traditional circuits of the public switch telephone network prior to ISDN the telephone system was viewed as a way to transport voice with some special service available for data The key feature of ISDN is that it integrates speech and data on the same line adding features that were not available in the classic telephone system the ISDN standards define several kind of access interface such as basic rate interface primary rate narrow band and broadband ISDN network configuration without ISDN and network configuration with ISDN first diagram shows network configuration without isdn next diagram shows network configuration with isdn isdn definition the cctt defines the isdn as follows a complete terminal to terminal digital network figure 2 shows the end to end digital connectivity a network that provide both telephone and non telephone services in the same network a network based on a digital telephone network a network that utilize signaling system number 7 for signaling between switching system figure shows the signaling connection between switching systems a network of a standard user network interface figure 2.3 shows the standard user network interface ISDN services a wide range of services as follow a ISDN provide the following functions as shown in figure 2.4 packet switching services circuit switching services lease circuit services circuit switching services including both telephone and data circuit switching also shows in the figure ISDN can interface with various terminal such as telephone set fax video terminal or personal computers to provide a wide range of services isdn concept can be summarized in two statements the subscriber line is connected with an network terminal installed at the customer premises various terminal are connected to the network terminal these terminal are include digital telephone multimedia terminal digital famesenial mechanism personal computers as shown in figure 2.5 the network terminal and terminal are connected with sorty transference as recommended by the cctt up to 8 hour terminal are connected to using an 8 pin connector which is also recommended by the cctt as shown in the figure the personal computer use rs232c interface for users with the isdn interface each terminal connected with network terminal through st interface which is connected with the switching system through subscriber line at the left part of the figure a person using a telephone television telephone called a video phone at the lower left a person watching a picture on a video text terminal at the upper right of the figure a person is operating a personal computer which required the use of a ta to convert the computer rsc interface to the st interface by isdn home shopping and home banking 
figure 2 point show home shopping and home banking a upper left shows the measuring of blood pressure with the result shown on the video tax screen both at the home and medical facility the lower left shows consultation or medication show using a tv telephone figure 2.7 show a typical service made possible by isd it shows something is being ordered to a departmental store then delivered the goods are ordered using the video tax terminal and the instructions in output to the bank to transfer the amount of the bill from your account the departmental store delivers the order ordered good home medical system figure 2.8 shows home medical system user network interface isdn user network interface configuration figure 2.9 shows the interface between the user and the network telephone service makers of two wire for the subscriber line between the switching system and customer premises and nt is installed at the subscriber home and connected to the subscriber line the interface between the nt and isdn exchange is called u interface this interface has not been defined in the ccitt recommendation because circumstances are different in each country services access point in the existing telephone a point at which a service is provided for user that is the service access point is located at a roast between the user telephone set in the subscriber line figure 2.10 shows the user network interface reference point which is based on the ccitt reference model and identify the important reference point the following describes the user access point and the function of each for basic user network interface network term termination the nt can be split into nt1 nt2 nt1 and nt2 are terminating equipment for the network in this case nt1 provide the layer 1 function such as circuit termination timing and supply of electricity while nt2 provides the layer 2 function such as protocol control and concentration function terminal equipment te the te can be split into t1 and t2 te t2 te1 is an isdn terminal which is connected to isdn via the st interface T2 is a non ISDN terminal which is connected to ISDN via terminal adapter such as personal computer or analog fax as described in the figure 2.9 terminal adapter a TA is physical device which is connected to non ISDN terminal to permit access to ISDN as interface a four wire physical interface used for a signal customer transmission between a TA and NT2 or between TE1 and NT2 a T interface a four wire physical interface between NT1 and NT2 R interface a physical in interface used for a single customer ter terminator between TE2 and NTA U interface the subscriber line is called U interface and utilize two wire ISDN user network interface point requirement of user network interface for us to utilize integrated services including voice and non voice communication and the use of some new media such as famicelline in office and home the following features must be provided for user interface different services for each call a switching mode can be selected a data speed can be selected plural number of terminals can be concurrently connected the portability of terminal can be ensured the basic structure of user network interface the basic condition for structuring the user network interface that satisfy the proceedings requirement can be summarized into the following three point multi service common use of various services telephone non telephone and existing new services multi point up to eight terminal can be connected to one well as point to point connection the uh, figure shows the multi point connections portability terminal can be carried from place to place and connected to different socket for use 
just as home electric appliances can be carried around and plugged into AC outlet. Chemical classification: various channels can be used to transmit information between terminal and switching system. These include BDH channel. Each channel has different bit rate and information carrying attribute. B channel it carries user information such as voice and packet data at a rate of 64 kilo byte per second. However, the B channel does not carry signaling information. D channel it carries mainly signaling information such as originating and terminating subscriber number, call origination, originating and disconnecting signal for circuit switching and packet switching users data at 16 16 kilobytes per second to 64 kilobyte per second at channel is carried high speed user information such as high speed facsimiles high speed data etc it does not carry signaling information for circuit switching by the isdn typical interface structure basic interface has basic interface this interface is primarily for home use the basic interface set as transmission speed of 144 kilobytes to provide to 20 64 kilobytes channel for user information exchange primary group interface these interface are primarily for business use the primary group interface for att system consists of 1.544 mbps line in europe and other countries using CPAT system is standard the primary group is 2.048 mbps and the interface is 8 b channels and single 64 kilobits b channel brief introduction to broadcast channel broadcasting electronic transmission of radio and television signal that are intended for general public reception as distri- distinguished from private signal that are directed to a specified receiver in its most common form broadcasting may be described as the systematic dissemination of entertainment information education programming and other features for simul- simultaneous reception by a scattering audience with appropriate receiving apertures apparatus broadcast may be audible only as in radio or visual or a combination of both as in television sound broadcasting in this sense may be said to have started about 1920 while television broadcasting began in the 1930s with the advent of cable television in the early 1950s and the use of satellite for broadcasting beginnings In the early 1960 television reception improved and the number of program receivable increased dramatically user network interface electromagnetic waves can be broadly classified in term of frequency as follow very large frequency which is from 0 to 30 kilohertz large frequency 30 to 300 kilohertz medium frequency 0.3 to 3 megahertz high frequency 3 to 30 megahertz very high frequency 30 to 300 megahertz ultra high frequency 0.3 to 3 gigahertz applications mw bands are used for the following services fixed radio communication service fixed satellite service mobile service broadcasting service radio navigation service meteorological service radio astronomy services microwave spectrum for bsnl 2 gigahertz band 4 gigahertz 6 gigahertz 7 gigahertz 11 gigahertz and 13 gigahertz which having different bandwidth availability and spectrum spaces frequency characteristics microwave are very short frequency radio signal waves that have many of the characteristics of light wave in that they travel in light of sight path and can be reflected boomed or focused by focusing these ultra high radio waves into narrow beams their 
energies are concentrated and relatively low transmitting power is required for reliable transmission over long distance system capacity microwave communication system are used to carry telephone television and data signal majority of the system however carry multi channel telephone signal figure 2.14 shows the multi channel telephone signal this is also called base band signal in this 60 telephone channel to 2700 channel over a radio barrier with a few system of lower capacity vary from 60 to 60 channel figure 2.15 shows the individual telephone channel 4 kilohertz wide are multiplex together in a multiplex equipment to get base band the base band frequency given in table 2.5 this is the base band frequency and the channel capacity a spectrum of telephone channel base band spectrum first figure shows typical microwave radio system next shows the systematic or schematic of microwave termination terminals overview of satellite communication system and communication long distance communication using conventional technique like coaxial cable or microwave radio relay link involve a large number of repeaters as the number of repeaters increases system performance and reliability degraded so new system should be arrived but the channel capacity is limited and the cost are high due to necessity of large antenna and high transmitting power large area could be covered if the height of microwave repeaters could be increased by putting it on board an artificial earth satellite shown in figure 2.17 science friction writer author c clark in an article in wireless world in 1945 proposed that the worldwide coverage could be obtained by using three microwave repeaters placed in a geo stationary orbit at height of about 36000 km this is a satellite communication and the mode of communications global coverage with geo stationary satellites satellite communication provide a practically and economically means of long haul communication traffic in a country with a larger geographical area it also enables communication service to those area which are virtually inaccessible by other conventional form of communication system due to natural physical barriers principle and features of satellite communication principle figure 2.18 shows the principle of the satellite communication here a geostationary satellite with microwave radio repeaters equipment receive and amplified radio waves sent from earth station and return them to earth a geostationary satellite is launched above the equator 36000 km height above the earth it period around the earth coincides with the of earth rotation it coincides with the rotation of earth therefore the satellite look as if it is stationary from earth if three communication satellites are launched equidistantly above the equator it can serve almost all communication network around the world therefore to facilitate public international telecommunication intel sats fourth and fifth has been launched above the atlantic pacific and indian ocean this network cover almost all countries around the world features however short wave radio communication has disadvantage of A small transmission capacity only small telephone channel can be used to transmit fading in wave propagation interface with stability of transmission unlike other system geostationary satellite communication system minimize as follows stable and large capacity communication cost of establishment and maintenance do not depend on communication distance multiple access is possible signal sent from earth station can be received at several earth station simultaneously satellite communication network satellite communication network could be defined 
as an assemble of earth stations of predetermined size spread over a predefined coverage area interconnected thoughts interconnected through a suitably designed satellite placed at a predetermined location in properly chosen orbit around the earth thus two important element of a satellite communication networks are space space segment and ground segment advantage of satellite communication advantage of satellite communication mobile communication can be easily established by satellite communication once the satellite is in position earth station can be installed and communication may be established within some day or even hours high bandwidth satellite communication is economical compared with terrestrial communication communication satellite cover all land masses and there is growing capacity to serve marine time and even aeronautical market satellite is unmatched for broadcast application like television for two way ip network the speed uniformity and end to end control of today's advanced satellite solution are resulting in greater use of satellite by corporation government and consumption consumers can be cheaper over long distance additional service site du- uh, during critical condition each earth station may be removed relatively quickly from a location and reinstalled somewhere else point to multi point communication is possible where a terrestrial relay is point to point compared to the optical fiber communication satellite communication has the advantage that quality of transmitting signal and location of sending and receiving station are independent of distance uplink and downlink uplink is the radio path from earth segment that is earth station to the space segment that is satellite whereas downlink is the radio path from space segment that is satellite to the ground segment that is earth frequency band choose of frequency choice of frequency band for space communication depend upon wide band requirement noise consideration propagation factor or technological development with regard to component and devices these uh, frequency are preferred because of less atmospheric absorption than higher frequency less noise both man made less space less space loss compared to higher frequencies as well developed technology available at these frequencies 6 gigahertz and 4 gigahertz bands are shared with terrestrial services creating interface problem 4 and 11 and 20, 30 to 20 gigahertz system for telecommunication and broadcasting te- satellite services are slowly coming coming beginning optical fiber communication fiber communi- fiber optics fiber optical fiber is new medium in which information is transmitted through a glass or plastic fiber in the form of light information is encoded into electrical signal electrical signal are converted into light signal light travel down the fiber a detector changes the light signal into electrical signal electrical signal are decoded into information advantage of optical fiber greater bandwidth and faster speed optical fiber cable support extremely high bandwidth and speed cheap several mile of optical fiber cable can be made cheaper than equivalent length of copper wire higher carrying higher carrying capacity because optical fiber are much thinner than copper wire more fiber can be bundled into a given diameter cable less signal degradation the loss of signal in optical fiber is less than that in copper wire light signal unlike electrical signal transmitted in copper wire light signal from one fiber do not interfere with those of other fiber in a same fiber cable long life span optical fiber usually have a larger life cycle for over 100 years interference fiber optics cable are immune to electromagnetic interference size in comparison to copper a fiber optic cable has nearly 
4.5 times as much capacity as the wire cable has and a cross sectional area that is 30 times less weight. Fiber optic cable are much thinner and lighter than metal wire. Security Optical fiber are difficult to trap. Application of fi fiber optics in communication. Medical Use a light guide image tool and also as laser for surgery. Defense Use a hydrophone for seismic wave and sonar. Data storage used for data transmission. Networking used to connect user and server in a variety of network settings and help increase the speed and accuracy of data transmission. Industry used for imaging in hard to reach area. A wire where EMI is an issue. A sensory device to make temperature, pressure, and other measurement. And as wiring is automobile and in industrial set setting. Broadcast. Broadcast company are use fiber optic cable for wiring telecommunication. Fiber is led and used for transmitting and receiving purposes. Transmission sequence. Information is encoded into electrical signal. Electrical signal are converted into light signal. Light travel down the fiber. A detector changes the light signal into electrical signal. Electrical signal are decoded into information. In Expensive light source repeater spacing increase along with operating speed because low loss fiber are used at higher data rate. Optical communication system. This is the diagram which shows the optical communication system. Principle of operation theory. Total internal reflection. The reflection that occur when a light ray travel in one material hit a different material and reflect back to the original material without any loss of light. Theory and principle of operation. The speed of light is actually the velocity of electromagnetic energy in vacuum such as space. Light travel at a slower velocity in other materials such as glass. Light traveling from one material to another changes speed which result in light changing its direction of travel. This deflection of light is called in Refraction, the amount that a ray of light passing from a lower refract refractive medium to higher one is bent towards the normal, but light going from higher to lower one reflective away from the normal as shown in the figure. As the angle of incidence increases the angle of reflect refraction approaches 90 to the normal, the angle of incidence that yield an angle of refraction of 90 is critical angle. The angle of incidence and the refraction are equal and it is called the total internal reflection. This is a snail's law. A snail's law diagram. Propagation of light through fibers. Optical fiber has two concentric layers called a core and cladding. The inner core is the light carrying part. The surrounding cladding provide the Difference refractive index that allow the total internal reflection of light through the core. Light streaking the interface at less than the critical angle passes into the cladding where it is lost over distance. The cladding is usually in, in, inefficient as a light carries carrier and light in the cladding become attenuated fairly. Such ITR forms the basic of light propagation. Through optical fiber, this is analysis. Through optical fiber, this analysis consider only memorandial rays, those that pass through the fiber axis each time they are reflected. Other rays called is new rays. Skew rays travel down the fiber without passing through the axis. The path of skew ray is typically helixial, wrapping around and around the central axis. The specific characteristics of light propagation through a fiber depend on many factors including the size of the fiber, the composition of the fiber, the light injected into the fiber, total internal reflection diagram. 
फाइबर जोमेट्री द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ कोर ऑफ ऑप्टिकल ट्रांसपेरेंट मटीरियल यूजली बोरोसिलिकेट ग्लास सराउंडेड बाय क्लाइडिंग ऑफ अ सेम मटीरियल बट अ स्लाइटली लोअर रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स द डायमीटर ऑफ अ कोर एंड क्लाइडिंग आर एस फॉलोज दिस इज द डायमीटर ऑफ कोर एंड क्लाइडिंग फाइबर साइज आर यूजली एक्सप्रेस बाय फर्स्ट गिविंग द कोर साइज फॉलोड बाय द क्लाइडिंग साइज Thank you